the lawsuit that you're facing, I know you're limited about what you can speak in terms of the dominion. And, and we know what you've been saying is accurate because I have verified it. I've checked it out. We know the origins are Venezuela. We know that it's a corruptible, manipulable, malleable piece of machinery and, and software. Um, again, I know you're restrained and constrained in, in many areas about what you can um, speak about. But when this initially happened and people were attacking you, I said to them, you know, there's this crazy thing called discovery in the um, the process of, of lawsuits. And I said, what if this is exactly a la Muhammad Ali and rope dope? What if this is exactly what Sidney Powell wanted all along so she could begin discovery and get to the truth? Yes, I can't wait to take the deposition of Eric Coomer and other Dominion executives and people on the ground in Atlanta and the high executive of Dominion who was in Detroit the night of the election running the Dominion operations there. There were Dominion people everywhere doing all this. And a, a Tom Feehan in Georgia, lots of people that uh, need to be deposed in the process of this litigation. We can't wait to get at it. So do you see yourself uh, as an, an attorney uh, piecing this thing together, not only for trial purposes, but for the American people. So we have a clear picture of, of what transpired. Oh yes, that's why we started defending the republic.org to pursue the litigation needed on behalf of the American people because our justice department has failed to do its job among every other institution in our government right now to expose the truth and prosecute the actual crimes that occurred. So is this going to be uh, one of these cases that's going to drag out for years and years and years, maybe even beyond 2024? How do you see this thing playing out in terms of uh, any kind of uh, time frame? I don't think it's going to take all that long, Graham, because the discovery is going to be devastating. I mean, we already have a new report out of New Hampshire where uh, 300 votes roughly per Republican disappeared. 